And as we continue our analysis on the Nigerian man killed in Rustenburg, South Africa, Nigeria's High Commissioner to South Africa, Ambassador Ahmed Ibeto, has reacted to allegations of inadequate handling of issues affecting Nigerians in the country. He says he is disappointed by some of the negative comments made by the President of the Nigerian Union in South Africa, Aditala Lubajo. Mr. Lubajo on the program yesterday accused the Nigerian mission in South Africa of failing to protect its citizens living abroad. Instead, it is fraudulently ripping off Nigerians. Mr. Ibeto was speaking with our South Africa Bureau Chief in the presence of the Consul General, Godwin Adama, and other top officials of both missions. The report through our Minister in charge of Consular Affairs that uh, one of our nationals was actually uh, killed. Um, in fact, he was attacked by a group of uh, South Africans. He thought for protection from the police, and unfortunately, that was not provided. So he decided to run away. So actually, they followed him and then beat him. Then from there, after he fell down, they put him on fire. They put fire on him. And uh, he was rescued by good Samaritans. They took him to the hospital, and uh, overnight he passed away. So I was in touch with uh, the chairman, that is the local chairman of the chap the, the local chapter chairman of the Nigerian Union. He gave me the details, and uh, he even told me that uh, the Nigerians were going to protest, which I advised him against. I said uh, we have decided to take that matter officially with the South African authority. We have now actually protested against uh, such killings by the, uh, by the citizens of South Africa. Any time there is an issue which involves particularly the issues that are before the court now, the consular officer from the consulate in Joburg and the, of the consular officer from the High Commission usually go to this course together. In fact, let me cite an instance. Our national went to protest at a police station. So they actually lay siege. They decided to condone you know, the, the, the whole police station. They put their vehicles along the road so there was no access in or out of the station. This is what made the police actually to call for enforcement. It was actually the enforced officer that came. They were the people that arrested them. Well, joining us now is Abika Dabir Erwa, the senior special assistant to President Bari on diaspora affairs. Welcome to the program. Uh, let's begin about the latest Nigerian who was killed in South Africa. Reports say that an angry mob attacked him, took him out of police custody where he went for safety and set him on fire. Can you confirm this? Hello, Mrs. Dabiru, if you can hear me. Can you ask a question again? Okay, so I said that about the latest Nigerian who was killed in South Africa, I uh, would like to know, would like you to confirm, because reports say that an angry mob attacked him, took him out of police custody where he went for safety, and set him on fire. Well, you just spoke with the uh, High Commissioner. What actually happened? Oh, you just saw the guy and said, oh, 
he was the Nigeria. So there's an early warning signal put together by the ministries of foreign affairs uh, both countries. That early warning signal needs to be reviewed and strengthened. These xenophobic attacks are becoming rampant, would you agree? At least since February 2016, again, we ask, how do we stop this, seeing that authorities in South Africa are apparently helpless in this regard? I'm sorry, uh, not particularly clear. Okay, to take that question, just have a question again. the xenophobic attacks, they're apparently becoming rampant, at least since February 2016, 118 Nigerians have lost their lives. Again, we're asking, how do we stop this, seeing that authorities in South Africa appear helpless? Well, um, the, the mission um, was ahead of how Commissioner said, the mission at the continent actually do everything they can, when this case has come up, they caught or policemen are trying to come. But I think most importantly is that there has to be massive education and awareness on the part of the community. You know, there's no problem government to government level, but there's a problem misunderstanding at the communal level. Now, um, uh, the issue of drugs, that, you know, Nigerians are uh, carrying drugs, they are guilty, it makes them angry, but at the same time, this is not a solution to it. You know, I also said that the, the, at the higher level now, and the two ministries of foreign affairs need to come together and reassess the early warning things that are put in place. It needs to be reviewed and strengthened. In the meantime, we have to appeal to our citizens to be law abiding. Don't take the law into your hands. And we hope that for the South African authority, there has to be consequences for action. If there are no consequences for these actions, they will continue to happen. And the relationship between the two countries needs to be strengthened, not, you know, uh, Made work. So really, uh, my worry is that just again. Well, I'd like to thank you. We've been talking to Abika Dabu Era, Senior Special Assistant to the President on Diaspora Affairs.